Next up is Rick Smith with big plans to bring his brand of entertainment to Las Vegas. Cool. Let's get her out of there, you guys. Come on, help me out. Oh, very Ta nice. Yeah. I'm sorry I'm not as beautiful as my lovely assistant, Tiffany. My name is Rick Smith, Jr. I'm a professional magician from Cleveland, Ohio. I'm seeking a $1.5 million investment for a 20% equity in my company. There's a huge opportunity in the world of magic in Las Vegas, and I intend to create an extremely entertaining, family-friendly magic show. Now, this isn't just your ordinary magic show. We will be adding singers. Hey, oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. Dancers. A unique juggling act like you've never seen before. I'm busy. These Thanks. are a few of the featured entertainers that combine with my magic and illusions, we will create the next big hit on the strip. Now, over the years, I've created unique illusions. I've thrown playing cards further and harder than anyone in the world, earning me a spot in the Guinness Book of world records. Hey, would you mind helping me out for a second? Sure. I want you to put this gauntlet on your left hand. I want you to hold your left hand out. I want you to hold this piece of celery right here. Please do not move. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these playing cards, I'm gonna throw it, and I'm gonna try to cut this piece of celery. What? Out. Whoa. Oh, come on. Watch closely, watch celery. There Whoa. it is. Hey, can you, can you help me out for a second? Sure. I want you to sit right here. Actually, can you help me out too for a second? Sure. Can you, come on down here. I want you to have a seat right here. Absolutely. Okay. I have this lighter right here. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set your chair on fire. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> if you feel anything, just, um, if you just feel anything at oh! all, just <laughs> What? Oh! What are you, oh! What's what? wrong? You zapped me. I did not zap you. <laughs> Give me that thing. I'm gonna let you on <laughs> fire, buddy. Right now. Oh, that's I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't burn. I didn't mean to burn your behind. The opportunity is right here in front of me to take all I've learned and experience to the entertainment capital of the world, Las Vegas. Okay, Rick, you just burnt my ass. Sorry. <laughs> I have a question. Yes. 1.5 million for 20% of your company or your business yes. or your production means that you're telling me that you're worth seven and a half million dollars. Seven and Let's a half million Let's get serious dollars. here. Why? Actually, I'm projecting to gross $12 million in our first year. I'm working with one of the top publicists in Las Vegas. We've checked out many different venues, and we found out that on the average seating, between four and 600 seats, selling tickets at a price of $60, doing two shows a day, seven days a week. But you haven't done this yet. I have not done a Las Vegas production show. So right, you... now, I'm, right now, I'm currently a magician that I travel all over the country doing corporate How events. How much did you make shows. last year? Last year, I made $200,000. And I'm supposed to say you're worth a million five because maybe in Vegas you're gonna make it? You know how many magicians are in Vegas? They grow them like mushrooms There's there. lots of magicians in Look, Las Vegas. Look, riddle me this, Rick. Yes. Who burnt my ass. I'm sorry. Why don't I just take my million five and create Mr. Wonderful's magic show in Vegas? Because I'm taking all the risk, all the capital. I call up and say, hey, Rick, you wanna work for me? And I pay you. 300,000. Why do I have to give you, you know, 80% and I get 20, I put up all the money? Isn't that what this whole dig's about? The guy that has the money makes all the rules. That's how it works. Well, yeah, I, You're I, an employee, you work for me. If I, I don't like your magic, I fire you. In fact, I burn your ass. To get your money back right away, I was, I was thinking that I'd pay you twice your investment. If and, you even make the money, and that's the million dollar question. If I make the money. Rick, the reason most of these shows don't work, and the reason they're so risky, is you're not a known brand. Nobody knows Rick the Magician. I give you the 1.5 million, you rent the venue, the 1.5 million is gone. It's gone. The day you open, if people don't know you, 
I could go to zero. That's how that's how all magicians, every magician in Las Vegas. <laughs> no, no, seriously. But Rick, before they go to Vegas, they have a brand, they have a name. No, that's, know not, that. that's not true. Every magician doesn't have a name going into. They all have pretty much the same story as I do. Why not start in a smaller town? I'm, I'm really up for anything, but this is this is just my dream to be this. And you just performer. gave up on the dream just like that. I'm up for anything. I, no, I <laughs> gave up in Las Vegas just like that. No, no, no. I've been working on this this deal right here for over three years, working with this publicist who has worked for major. Yeah, but publicists major, just but want you, you to pay them. Yeah, right? you just pay the publicists. They'll tell you whatever you want to hear. But the reality is, you know, Vegas is incredibly expensive. Very you know, to get into a decent sh showroom costs a lot more than a million and a half dollars. Right now, the rent for for most of the showrooms is between six and eight thousand dollars a week. A week. A week. A week. My closest friend is Siegfried and Roy's manager. Okay. 30 years managing them. And he manages other magicians and still cannot get anybody else out in Vegas because how challenging the market is. Now he's talking about, I'm talking about the guy who created magic. Yeah, it's one of the best shows ever this in is, Las Vegas. This is absurd. I'm out. What you're proposing is insane. I, uh, the, this isn't even, a, a tolerable risk. It's an insane risk. I'm out. You went for the Holy Grail. You're not quite ready to go there. I just think if you would have told us that we should invest in you, and over some period of time, we're gonna, we'll grow with you, and we'll help your career because we're sharks, and we know how to help, I, and we'll give you advice, but you asked for a million and a half dollars. I ain't gonna write you a check for a million and a half dollars for 20% so I can help your career go. You set your sides high, but you set them too high, and it's not gonna work, so I'm out. Rick, you missed a fantastic opportunity. I've never seen somebody throw a card that fast. Incredible. But I gotta tell you, Rick, it takes 10 to 15 years to become an overnight success. And you're not gonna use my 1.5 million to become an overnight success with one act. I'm out. You're such a cute kid. <laughs> but you're nuts. Came in, asked for too much, too soon, with nothing to prove that you could actually even attempt to pull it out. Nobody's gonna give you the money, and I'm out. Well, I appreciate your guys' time, and I look forward to seeing you guys in Las Vegas. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. My Las Vegas dreams are not over. I'm going to continue to look for an investment so we can actually make this dream happen.